in a world where consumerism often encourages us to spend beyond our means embracing a lifestyle of moderation and financial prudence is becoming increasingly rare but yet crucial as an investment coach i often witness the aftermath of financial recklessness and i, I firmly believe that living within one's means is not only a wise choice but also a pathway to long-term financial security a lot of financial carelessness in our country today financial carelessness can manifest in various forms from impulsive spending to unnecessary luxuries to accommodating debt beyond manageable levels now while the allure of instant gratification may be enticing the consequences of overspending can be detrimental high levels of debt can lead to stress strain in relationships and hinder future financial goals such as buying a home or retiring comfortably now the value of living modestly cannot be compared contrary to popular beliefs living modestly does not require or equates to leading a deprived or joyless life Instead, it involves making conscious decisions to prioritizing your needs over wants, practicing moderation in consumption. By embracing a modest lifestyle, individuals can allocate their resources more efficiently, ensuring that each expenditure serves a meaningful purpose. Now, let's talk about the importance of financial discipline. Living within one's means requires discipline and self-control. It involves creating and sticking to a budget. Distinguishing between essential and discriminationary expenses and avoiding unnecessary debts. While it may require sacrifices in the short term, the long-term benefits are undeniable Financial discipline lays the foundation for achieving financial goals, whether it is building a home or um, having an emergency situation, funding, saving for retirement or investing, whatever purpose it is, the benefits are enormous. It is important to cultivate financial awareness. Education plays a pivotal role in fostering financial awareness and also empowering individuals to make informed decisions about their finances. And as an investment coach, I advocate for ongoing learning and self-improvement in financial matters. By understanding the principles of budgeting, saving and investing, individuals like you can take control of your financial destiny and mitigate against the risk of financial carelessness. There's a ripple effect of living responsible and having a responsible financial behavior. Now, living within your means extends beyond um, personal financial health. It also borders around societal implications. You need to learn to practice moderation, avoiding excessive consumptions, reduce living practices that will make you spend recklessly. It is important to prioritize savings and investments, okay, and also further strengthen your financial resilience, thereby reducing the burden of social welfare systems and fostering economic stability. Living a decent and modest life within one's means is not only a prudent financial strategy but also a testament to one's values and priorities by embracing moderation practicing financial discipline and cultivating awareness you can safeguard your financial future and live fulfilling lives as an investment coach i encourage you and everyone to reassess your financial spending your spending habits prioritize financial stability and embark on the journey towards financial freedom until i come away next time stay blessed